Welcome back to the Buttercup Bakery Food Safety Induction and Refresher Training. This is part six, where we will be covering cleaning and sanitizing. This topic will focus on cleaning and will also let you know about the importance of sanitizing. Cleaning and sanitizing are not tasks that most of us enjoy doing, but they are very important, along with other measures to ensure food safety and prevention of food poisoning. When you complete this topic, you'll be able to explain the reasons for cleaning and sanitizing, why cleaning and sanitizing is so important, how to correctly handle and dispose of rubbish, the do's and don'ts of dealing with pests in the food preparation and handling areas, and describe the different ways to clean and sanitize, the steps involved in manually cleaning food preparation surfaces and equipment, and some general cleaning practices. Why you should clean and sanitize. When you work in the food industry, apart from other food handling tasks, you may also be responsible for certain cleaning and sanitizing tasks. You need to be aware of your role in the workplace and follow your supervisor or manager's instructions. Reasons for cleaning and sanitizing. A clean and sanitized food preparation area helps to prevent disease and food poisoning, will keep your customers satisfied about the quality and safety of the food you prepare, helps prevent food from being contaminated, ensures a safe and hazard-free work environment, ensures that all your equipment remains clean and well-maintained, and helps to keep disease-spreading pests away. Cleaning. Cleaning is more than food safety. It involves removing grease, food, dust, stains and other contaminants, including smells and tastes from food preparation surfaces and equipment. Buttercup Bakery has cleaning schedules for who cleans what, when and how. Ensure that you follow the instructions using the products and equipment listed in the SOP. Never combine different chemicals and using more of a detergent or chemicals does not mean that it will work better. Detergents like soap remove the grime, grease, food, dust and stains. They do not kill bacteria. That is why after cleaning, you must sanitize the food preparation surfaces and equipment. Clean as you go as it will save you time and effort in keeping food preparation areas and premises clean. Sanitizing. Sanitizing is a necessary and required step to ensure that food is as free as possible from microorganisms that can cause foodborne illness. When used properly, sanitizers will kill or reduce microorganisms to safe levels. Sanitizing can be achieved through the use of hot water, chemicals, and other processes. A sanitizer will only work if food preparation surfaces or equipment have been thoroughly cleaned first. Some examples are soaking items in very hot water, soaking items in diluted bleach, applying a commercial food grade sanitizer, following the instructions and leaving it on for the required time period. It is important to follow the instructions as too little sanitizer will not reduce the level of harmful microorganisms to a safe level and too much will leave residues which may be harmful. Check, if using diluted sanitizer, when the sanitizer batch was made up, as it has a short shelf life. Pay special attention to blenders, mixers and can openers. You may need to dismantle them to get access to properly clean and sanitize them. Leave equipment to thoroughly air dry. Bacteria can be transferred from partially dried equipment to food. Use clean, dry and ideally single-use towels because if they get contaminated, they may then transfer harmful microorganisms between items. Do not use tea towels as they may transfer harmful microorganisms between items. Most food poisoning bacteria are killed if they are exposed to chemical sanitizers, heat or a combination of both. Disinfectants. 
Disinfectants are very strong chemicals, which are more suitable for toilets and floors than for food contact surfaces. Disinfectants often have a strong smell, like a pine smell, and should be used with caution. They are designed for use in cleaning floors and toilets and must be used according to the manufacturer's instructions. Helpful tips. Prior to cleaning, ensure bowls, pans, and other utensils are not under workbenches where water, cleaning chemicals, or food scraps can fall in during cleaning. Use food safe detergents and sanitizers. Keep cleaning chemicals away from food storage areas. Check to see that all chemicals are labeled properly. Never use utensils, crockery, or other equipment that is chipped, cracked, torn, frayed, or broken. Replace and refill hand washing supplies, such as paper towels and liquid soap, so they're available when you need them. Keep the floor free of objects and spills to prevent falls. Handling rubbish. Rubbish is an unavoidable byproduct of working in the food industry. It is important to learn how to handle and dispose of it correctly. By doing this, you will minimize the risk of contamination, odor, and pests. In food production and packing areas, internal rubbish bins are not required to have lids. Lids can cause cross-contamination if a food handler touches the dirty lid and then food. Rubbish bins must be emptied regularly. Wash out each bin with hot soapy water if required and line it with a plastic bin liner. Always wash your hands after touching, emptying or washing out a bin. Rubbish bins. Use bin liners and make sure they are tied when full before placing them in the external rubbish bins. Make sure that the external rubbish bin does not overflow. The lid must be able to be fully closed. Do not compress the rubbish. Hose down rubbish bins in the external rubbish area. Wash out rubbish bins with hot soapy water on a regular basis. Wash and sanitize your hands after touching rubbish bins. Pest and animal control. Food preparation and storage areas are much less attractive to pests when they are kept clean. This is important because pests spread disease and bacteria through physical contamination and droppings. They can cause food poisoning and damage equipment. Pests like to live in areas that are dark, undisturbed, and where there is access to food and water. You must always keep pests out of food preparation and handling areas. Some common pests that you may need to watch out for are flies, moths, cockroaches, ants, rats and mice, weevils and birds. Things you can do to prevent pests are never permit animals, including pets, in any place where food is prepared, stored or transported. Report any signs of pest activity such as droppings, fur or scratch marks. Remove rubbish regularly. Ensure bins do not overflow. Put lids on outside rubbish bins. Keep doors closed at all times and preferably use a double door system. Store food and equipment off the floor and store food in sealed containers. Getting rid of pests. If you notice pests in the food area or premises, you should report the pest activity to your supervisor or manager. Follow the instructions given by the supervisor or manager. If using sprays or baits, follow the instructions on the label. Remove dead pests. Label bait stations with the date they were set and remove any accumulated rubbish. If a licensed pest controller is hired, ensure that food and surfaces are protected from chemical contamination. Note that Buttercup Bakery has contracted their pest control to rent a kill. Rent a kill will take care of the instructions all marked with a star. Helpful tips. Regularly check pest prone hiding places, for example, under sinks. Ensure that insect zappers, 
spray dispensers, ultraviolet insect killers are not located above food preparation or packaging areas. Report any cracks or holes in floors, ceilings, walls, and fly screens. That completes part six, cleaning and sanitizing. Please open the next presentation, part seven, where we will cover food allergens.